Hey, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. Now, I just finished installing Photoshop Elements version 14. And I started playing around a little bit, and I thought, man, this is pretty exciting. I want to show this to everybody, like, right away. And um, the first thing we see here is we have the same stuff we always had on the top. eLive, which gives you some tutorials, which you don't need because you're watching my videos. The quick edits, which you can do the quick edits as we always could. The smart fix, exposure, lighting, color, balance, and sharpen. But the new guided edit, uh, the panel, the way it's set up, is so interesting that I wanted to share this with you really quickly here. So if you click on guided edit, now you have these tabs on the top. Basic, color, black and white, fun edits, special effects, and photo merge. So these before and afters, it tells you what it does. Brightness and contrast is the first one. Correct skin tone, crop a photo, levels, lighten them resize, rotate and straighten, the vinaigrette effect, and the sharpen. Under color, we have remove color cast, saturated film effect, Lomo camera effect, enhance color. Now, these are pretty much everything that we had before just laid out in a really neat way here because you can take the mouse and slide your mouse. Look at the uh, Lomo effect. You can slide your mouse over and see what it does. So this is the original if I move my mouse over. And as I move this over to the right, it shows me the after effect. Remove color cast. Now, it does show you the before and after you can see on the left and right. But look, I can start here with the color cast, move my mouse over, and I can remove the color cast. Move it back and move it back. Same thing with saturate the film effect. You can move it back. You can saturate your film. Black and white. Again, it's the same stuff we had before. Black and white. Black and white color pop. Black and white selection. High key, line drawing, and low key. The fun edits, we have old-fashioned photos, out of bounds, which we had, picture stack we had, pop art, the puzzle effect, reflections. Speed effect is new. This is a new one here. We'll have to play with that one. And the zoom burst effect uh, we had in the past. Some special edits. We got depth of field, which we learned how to shoot depth of field. The Orton effect. The perfect portrait. Recompose, which we had in the past. Restore an old photo, which we've done by hand many times. Scratches and blemishes, how to remove those. Look, there's some scratches and blemishes, and we'll remove the scratches and blemishes. We just slide it. Look how neat that is. Tilt shift, we had that in the past. And then we have your photo merge. Photo merge panorama. Uh, going from, we're going to go left to right here. Photo merge, merge compose exposure, faces, group shots, clean scene, and panoramic. Now, also had the guided effect, which I thought was so neat that I had to create this video right away and share it with you because I'm just getting into the meat and potatoes of Photoshop Elements 14. Also, the expert mode. Now, under the expert mode, we had what we always had in the past here. Uh, we can see here, we can get rid of the uh, toolbars here. We can bring up our actions, panels. And you can do everything that you did in the past. Here's your layers. Here's all your tools. It looks like the tools have stayed the same. The select, the enhance, the draw, the modify, and the color palette at the bottom. So, folks, we're going to be digging more into uh, Photoshop Elements 14. Uh, but on the surface right now, the biggest changes they did was in the guided edits. And the biggest thing that you'll hear talk about is they're helping you enhance your um, smartphone photography, your tablet photography. But Photoshop Elements has always done that. So until I get my reviews all put together and, and my thoughts on this uh, whole project here and everything that we're doing, you know, kind of give me some time uh, to play around with it and let me see if it's worth upgrading. Uh, right now, you know, just keep learning Photoshop Elements 13. Uh, it looks like the overall process. If you go to jtclearning.com, you can still take the Photoshop Elements 13 course. And you're going to be very, very safe in knowing how to run Photoshop Elements 14. So it's not that big of a difference as what I'm seeing so far. So we're still in good shape. So folks, thank you very much for watching this short little uh, video on some uh, quick, uh, quick little uh, updates here. And a quick little review on the Photoshop Elements 14. And we'll talk to you next time here on Jack's Tech Corner. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the videos. And please join our Facebook group at Jack's Tech Corner. Thank you very much, and bye for now.